everybody welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm gonna show you guys how I did my makeup this is like my go-to look I never do colorful looks so it's just a soft brown look if you want to see how I achieve my makeup then please keep on watching right now I just washed it and I have moisturizer on so I have nothing on right now so the first thing I'm going to do is pin it back so that it doesn't get in the way Don't forget to stay moisturized. So first up is primer. This is a Becca Skin Love Primer. And you're going to put that all over. Then next up is foundation. So I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. I have a light one and a dark one and I'm going to mix them. So I mix that on my hand and I'm going to pat it in dots all over my face. And now I'm going to blend that in with a beauty blender. And I'm going to be taking my NARS concealer and placing that under my eye. By the way, this is the best concealer I've ever used. And then I'm going to put a little bit on my chin and the middle of my forehead. Try to leave it like this, guys. You? No? Okay. And then I'm weird and I like to let my concealer dry just a little bit before I blend it out. And another weird thing, I blend it in with a dry beauty blender. So this one's wet, but I like to use it dry. I just feel like when it's wet, it soaks it up and it just doesn't look good. Especially me, I have really dark under eye circles. So I love like packing it underneath. Like if I'm going to do my makeup, I'm going to look like I got a full 8 hours of sleep, so. blended in I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro powder this is the banana yellow setting powder so you want to get a good amount on there so I'm going to get it on one side and then I'm going to kind of press it in like acting like I'm going to blend it in and I feel like it really mattifies it and it makes it look very smooth. And then same with the other side. pick up some more and just loosely pat that on there to bake it and then lightly 
patting it on my chin, nose, and forehead. And then I'll kind of like go around my mouth. And then once that's caked on, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild, this is a contour stick in Oaks on You. And it's a stick. And I'm going to place it like right underneath my cheekbone. Like right there. And same with the other side. And then I'm taking my Real Techniques brush and I'm going to blend that. blended in I'm going to take my butter bronzer on a brush and go over it with powder and then going back into my banana powder I'm going to kind of carve out what I just did gonna take the L'Oreal brow stylus definer it's a really really thin pencil like this is how small it is so I'm gonna brush them out my eyebrows are already thick so it doesn't take a lot to fill them in so I'm gonna try my best to do this on camera because my mirror is down here <music> Part of filling in brows I feel like is lining it and then trying to fill it in with hair like strokes and then when I kind of get to the front I go up okay so this side is filled in I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side have never even been fraternal twins like they don't they've never been identical at all okay so now I'm gonna be taking a angled brush and a little bit of eyebrow powder and I'm going to set over that so now I'm gonna be taking a concealer brush that's flat like this and some concealer and I'm going to line right under it so pretty much I'm going to clean up with the concealer under my eyebrow and you want to kind of blend it in with your fingertip more translucent powder on a smaller brush and I'm going to set that and last but not least for the brows I'm going to be taking my benefit 24 hour brow setter and set them favorite palette this is the Anastasia soft glam palette 
looks like this it's kind of dirty i'm going to be taking this shade called burnt orange and placing that all around my crease shade called rustic i'm actually going to mix these two shades together and put that um, kind of below it cypress umber and put that kind of as an eyeliner and I'm gonna smudge it watch so I always take like the flat side of something and I'll place it like right here and then put the shadow take a color called fairy and kind of place it on my lid tapered brush and brush away all of the bake. And then once I wiped all of the translucent powder away, I'm going to take a little bit more bronzer. take a blush and put it right over so what you want to do is put it on the apple of your cheek and then kind of blend it in with the contour so I'm now going to take some pencil liner and put that underneath same angled brush I'm going to take a little bit of the brown that I used in my eye and put that right underneath and then for bottom mascara I'm going to take the benefit bad gal mascara the wand looks like this it is very skinny, so that's why I like it to use underneath. Let's see if I can do this on camera. And then I'm gonna take some highlighter. This is the Revolution Jelly Highlighter. 
So I'm gonna put that on my nose. And then on my cheekbone. And then over that, I'm going to take my Too Faced Candlelight Glow highlighter. It looks like this. As you can tell, I love it. I've hit the pan. And I'm going to put that right over my nose and cheekbone. And then last but not least is my lips. So I'm taking the NYX lip pencil in the shade Neutral. And I'm going to line my lips. And then once they're lined, I'm going to take some coconut oil lip gloss and put it right over. And now for setting spray, I'm going to use my NYX setting spray. You've got to like drench your face in this. So once that is set. So that is all for my makeup. It only took me about mm, an hour. So I am all done. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when I post.